y'all i got a story out of mississippi check it out people i was just sent this not too long ago i had to check it out first um this is michael Corey jenkins he lives in rankin mississippi right down the road from memphis tennessee okay uh on the morning of january the 25th he was brought into the emergency room with a gunshot wound to the mouth in the witnesses the father was told along with other people that mr jenkins was beaten he was tased while he was handcuffed on his knee found out through the doctors that his son had been raped or sodomized the witnesses they stated that the sheriff's deputies went back and forth tasing him to see whose taser was the strongest out handcuffed and on his knee it's also stated that the same sheriff's deputy is the one that shot this boy in the mouth to the father and witnesses there were no drugs or weapons that were ever recorded Rec torture began around 11 p.m on the 24th deputies didn't take him to the hospital to 3 a.m the next morning father mr jenkins and the witnesses the same sheriff's deputy has unalived two other people since 2021 and this is his third shooting of a black man but they're saying michael is the only one to survive the same way that things are being uncovered in memphis tennessee the same way things are being uncovered in atlanta georgia the same thing is going to be uncovered in Mississippi. It's been coming to it's been coming to fruition. God said enough is enough. He's he's exposing every single thing. All the innocent blood is crying out from the ground. Nobody can hide from this because this is God's wrath. This is part of God's wrath. That's why a lot of things are being exposed. And for those who saying God can't do anything, he's doing a whole lot. You see what he's doing when he's exposing all these uh, corrupt politicians. He's exposing all these uh, corrupt police departments. He's exposing all of it. So don't say God don't do anything or he can't do anything. He's doing it right now before your eyes. The Bible is speaking. God is speaking. All the activists, we need attorneys, all the media covers, because we don't know why this stuff right here is not being covered. They also say that this young man is in a hospital room being guarded by the same sheriff's deputies who tortured him and beat him. He's looking at these people every day. So this family needs some help. Michael Corey Jenkins in Rankin, Mississippi. I'm still trying to find out more information. I'll keep you guys informed. Y'all, please share this story and get it out on all y'all social media platforms so it can reach the right people that can get out here and help advocate for this family. Y'all stay safe out here. Peace.